I was reminded that the maximum distortion measurements for this was only measured from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz and not for the maximum capability of this unit. And therefore I've uh, uh, adjusted the oscillator as such. And I'm going to go through now uh, these values to see that I've made that and that everything works within those ranges only and not to the hundred and something thousand uh, uh, cycles that this is capable of doing which obviously uh, gets distorted on this unit. It's simply not capable of doing that. We're set up for 20 hertz. This is a 20 zero with a multiplier of one. It's actually 820 millivolts. As expected, this, uh, uh, the, the gauge is not going to work at such a low frequency. You could actually see in the camera, uh, if I get it just right, you can see the, the needles fluttering when, when it syncs up just right. That being said, however, in you know obviously it's in it's in one so and it is off, but we are looking at on the oscilloscope, you know 19.9 hertz, and showing a 20 hertz sine wave, and this shows that uh, 20 hertz is working just fine. Uh, obviously, we haven't me measured the harmonic distortion yet, but as far as just being able to view it, it looks good. And we're going to move through times 10, times 100, and times a thousand, bring us to to 20k. Now on times 10, the meter is now working. Obviously, the frequency is high enough, and it's showing uh, one volt on the uh, on the oscilloscope showing 1.06. Sine wave looks good at what is what appears to be 193 hertz, so just under 200 hertz. On the times 100 again, readjusting for one volt. We can see that everything's set up the same. We're looking at 1.04 volts and just under two kilohertz. We're seeing again a good sine wave. We're now set up for the maximum uh, at the rate of distortion, which is uh, 20 kilohertz. If I look at the oscilloscope, I see just above uh, 20K, and I'm seeing the slightest amount of distortion is appearing on the bottom of the sine wave. We can see it's flattened out. And if I pull that out, which I can, it, it will destabilize the sine wave for the lower frequencies. So uh, I just won't do it. It's been recommended by some of the folks on, on the, uh, the Heathkit group that I re uh, replace the, uh, the 6AU6 tube and try that. I may swap it out to see if, if that helps. But if that doesn't help, this will be fine for my needs. It's worth noting that switching over to 10 by 10 to produce 20.62 shows no appreciable distortion, if any, on the waveform, which also leads me to believe that there might be something else causing the distortion here, maybe a noisy resistor or something. I don't know because the only things that are being modified here are are these down here. I went from 10, 10. If I switch back 20 and zero, we can see that there is distortion. And it could be because a different no because you know I could adjusting for the same amount of power regulating the same amount of power I still see that distortion because that's 1.1 we'll say that's 1.1 volts RMS and this one when all is said and done let it let it stabilize If it will stabilize. One point one volts RMS. So I wonder if we have a dirty contact too. Either way, we're looking, we're looking at the same amplitude with no distortion on this configuration, but we are seeing distortion on the 20-0 configuration. I wonder if we have some, some noisy resistors or something. After searching around with the uh, nylon screwdriver for a good long time, I found that an instability may in fact be in this potentiometer right here, which I've, uh, I've, been, I've been knocking around on, on everything, getting this uh, waveform to, to wiggle. 
and eventually I, I, I was able to find that in setting this to certain positions, you know, the right way, you, you get it to, to be in an unstable area and then just touching the machine in the right setting or, or, or flipping a switch would start to get it going. I think this is going to require another cleaning or replacement. I'll try cleaning first. So here's that mystery switch and I've got this set up. I'm trying to set it up right here at zero decibels, which is about 780 on the oscilloscope says 780 millivolts, right? Show set about 780 here, and this this thing drifts. And when I hit the switch, it drops just about, but not exactly, four decibels on here, right? So you would see a reading of about. 500 millivolts, right? But the oscilloscope is showing 820, an increase of 20 millivolts. So the output has gone up by 20 millivolts. The reading has gone down by about 200 millivolts. I, I don't know what the switch does. So so we're, we're seeing uh, inverse values going on here. So I'm still I'm still confused. I want to get it hooked up to the HP to see what's what's actually going on. So you can see 780, and I flip the switch, and now it's 800, even though the scale has dropped down to 500. So, guess is as good as mine. Employing what is an unbelievable amount of mass overkill, I have hooked up the audio generator to my HP331 Alpha. I have on the um, oscilloscope. Uh, the yellow, which represents obviously the uh, the input, and the output is the blue, which is currently uh, showing uh, 50 decibels under. The at 20 hertz, which we're currently testing at, it's not very stable. You can see there's a lot of drift. I've gotten it as low as uh, uh, just under 0.2 percent uh, total harmonic distortion, and right now we can see that it's moving back up. I'll see if I can bring that back down. See if I, I could I could go and, and readjust it and, and bring it back on frequency, but the problem is is that the uh, the audio generator itself drifts, right? I'm not going to sit here and fiddle with it on video. Just know that I've gotten it to um, two dashes under the two, which would mean that it was um, 0.18 percent total harmonic distortion which does exceed uh, what the um, specification called for but good enough for my purposes this is also a 20 hertz by the way this is low frequency I'm gonna go to the middle now to 10k and see what I could get of course everybody who owns one of these knows that everything in the air conditioning unit will affect this um, lights turning on neighbors lights turning on but this time I've been following it and it's it's all about the drift we I could see the drift I could see the the waveform starting to uh, slope over to the left like this on the oscilloscope tells me that that the uh, the frequency is, is drifting back and forth. Obviously, that's not going to work very good for this, but we'll reset it now. We'll turn this back up to set level for the safety of the meter, like that. Shut them back off, you know. And the other thing is when the wave adjusts too. Obviously, that adjusts the um, the uh, set level as well. But luckily, uh, that hasn't affected this too much. We can see that the set level is pretty much where we left it. It's also worth noting, and I'm not entirely sure, but the, this uh, 331 Alpha may not be um, designed to run at 20 hertz. So, I don't know. Uh, however, the new one is now set for 10K, so I'm going to be setting this unit up for 10 kilohertz now. I've got it set up, now we'll slowly dial it into frequency. Null it out. This one likes to drift too. I've gotten this down as low as 0.15 percent total harmonic distortion. You can see if I if I play with the actual frequency, and the dip is very small. I could get it. You see, it went just run down there, and it moves about. But uh, this is at 10k, so it's just above the specification of 0.1 percent this is 0.15 percent so that's what we're looking at right there 
And just to give you an idea what the drift looks like, if I, if I sit here and I just don't touch it, you know, I'm just watching the sine wave. This is it going, going in and out. You know, it's settling back down. It's almost at 0.15 again without me touching anything. straight out of nowhere it creeps up now it's at um, two and a half no adjustments were made or it's at, to be fair it's a 0.25 percent now it just it just pegged I am not touching anything on here and and I'm sure that this is pretty much going to be frequency I could probably uh, bring this back in I'm still not touching it but it's settling down, but I'm sure if I adjust frequency now, which I'm now doing by hand, I brought it back in. So it's frequency drift that's causing the uh, harmonic distortion to increase. Not that not that that the harmonic distortion is increasing, but it's detuning this, right? I'm able to achieve a lower harmonic distortion again, but the circuit is being detuned. And when I tune it again, it's looking just fine, as we see here. Now we're going to roll it in for the last one, which is 20k. I've got the system set up for 20k now. We're reading a uh, just 20.6 here, and I'll start dialing it in, bringing it down, null it out. Now we'll just set them up. See if we can bring that. I'll come back to the movie when I got this dialed in. The best I could do with 20k was 0.34, which I expected. I had, I had noticed it was distortion at 20k. And we're looking at that now, 0.34% for 20K is what I'm seeing. And that's using the 20 and the 0 configuration right there. So there you have it. That's that's the top end, 20K, 0.34%. Now, if I use the other convention I mentioned earlier, which is the 10 and 10 to get 20K instead of the 20, 0, which I haven't figured out exactly why there's less distortion. And I believe it has to do with all of the, uh, the resistors in the network, right? or I just haven't figured that out yet. We see an entirely different pattern without that spike that was exhibited in the last one. And we end up with a harmonic distortion of 0.13 or 0.125, which is substantially less than 0.3 something, right? So it is, it is a much cleaner signal to, to do it that way. You know, it's now documented as such. Uh, I don't know why the combination of these resistors are, are yielding a much cleaner sine wave doing 10 and 10 than 20 and 0. Uh, this is just something that's going to have to be looked at and worked out. But that is the uh, audio generator is measured on the uh, HP331 Alpha. I think that's a pretty good test for a uh, audio generator as far as I'm concerned.